Hello, it's Mark, and this is a MacBook Air M1 chip keyboard replacement and top case. Um, I do my diagnosis as well. You want a metal pry tool, a uh, 4PL screwdriver, a T5 screwdriver, a T8 screwdriver, and a T3 screwdriver. I like to get myself some bended tweezers, straight tweezers work too. Anyways, a plastic spudger for the connections I can't get with my fingernails. Let's grab that P, uh, 4PL screwdriver and get off these bottom screws so then we can get on with the repair here. We're going to do a diagnosis as well. Um, uh, you can replace a trackpad cable and sometimes it brings back the keyboard and trackpad not working. Um, it didn't work in this video and also I ran into some other issues. It was my first time taking this apart here and doing a whole top case keyboard replacement. So there's going to be parts I'm going to tell you to do it a different way. Please enjoy the video, like and subscribe, leave comments below if you have any questions. I'm going to introduce you to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Cell Helmet and they gave me this case, the Altitude series for my iPhone 13 mini. Go to the link below and I'll link it. You're going to lift up this little metal bracket and then pull off the uh, battery connection here. So we're going to try the um, cable first, see if that fixes it. But uh, I got all the parts so we can do the top case replacement if so, but we'll try that first just to save some time. All right, so I gotta get a T3 screwdriver out here, unscrew the trackpad. Not my trackpad Lego connector. Now we gotta get T5 screwdriver of these. Lift the screen up. I'm gonna take out this plastic here, wiggle it, pull it up. Wiggle, 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 pull, wiggle, pull. There we go, that came out. Hold it up. All right, so we're just gonna screw in like three screws here. And All right, I'll connect it here.
keyboard still not working. Looks like we're doing the top case keyboard replacement here. All right, so it didn't work, so let's just disconnect the battery again. We're gonna remove the trackpad and then we'll put it in the new housing and we're not gonna screw it all the way down just because we're not for sure that the top case keyboard replacement will fix this. But uh, I'm just going to speed up the video here so you can just uh, stay tuned and then I'll show you more about taking it all the way apart. Thanks for watching. Let's disconnect the loudspeaker here, and then also there's this connection with bend tweezers. You would want to get um, it off, and then I think it is the microphone. It is underneath the loudspeaker. But um, then I get out my T3 screwdriver and unscrew the screws from the charge port. And in the other models, like the 2020, not the M1 chip, you can actually slide the port out. And I was trying to see if I could attempt that here, and I take out the uh, charge port, but it doesn't come out. Uh, you have to take out the whole logic board, it looks like, to get the charge port out. So uh, now I know that for feature reference, and so do you. Alright, whip out that T5 screwdriver, and we're going to unscrew the screws from the board. Actually, the screws on um, the board here. Uh, they pulled off the standoff so they didn't come out all the way and then I had to use some pliers once I get the board out to get those screws off and uh, hold the the standoff down see it just isn't coming out and um, so I just move forward and keep on unscrewing stuff that I can and then uh, once I get them all out then I will worry about that later Pick up that T3 screwdriver and remove the screw for the Wi-Fi connection here. It's time to lift the board out, but remember to unscrew these screws here and remove the cable. Um, don't do it like I did from the upside down way. Um, there is a much easier way. Just unscrew that so you can disconnect that uh, flex cable that's underneath the board. Um, but this was my first time doing the top case replacement, so I had to learn the hard way. So if the standoffs come off like mine did here, you just get some pliers out, hold it, and then unscrew the screw while you hold the standoffs. So um, we're going to transfer it over to the other board. I don't have to keep track of the standoffs here because uh, I'm not putting it back in this housing as I think, but we'll talk about that later. Thank <laughs> you. 
Grab your T3 screwdriver, unscrew the screws holding down the power button, and which also holds face uh, touch ID. And uh, once you get all that off, put it in the top case uh, first. And then you'll want to put take the charge port out and put the charge port in the new top case first. And then you'll put in the audio board and um, power button, little daughter board that connects to that. Uh, then we'll take off the screen as well and um, get the screen and Wi-Fi cable off. Open the screen up here and then we'll pull out the power button. Have the charge port put that in and we'll use a t5 screwdriver and there's two little black screws that go in there Put the power button through the big hole um, on the left here, and then you gotta hold it and grab a T3 screwdriver and um, uh, uh, screw in all six screws. All right, grab the daughter board that connects the power button to the motherboard and you slide it in just like so. Uh, just kind of angle it so then the auxiliary port comes up. Lift up your connections, make sure it slides in, connect everything, and then we'll um, screw it down. Use your T3 screwdriver, screw the, in the black screw uh, here on the top and then uh, you'll want to grab a T5 screwdriver and grab the silver screws and screw them right next to the auxiliary port here. Grab the logic board here, make sure you got all the connections on, the display, the uh, uh, power button, uh, flex cable, not the power button, I, I want to call that just the flex cable between the daughter board. But you uh, start with uh, putting the logic board in first and aligning all the connections. And then um, I normally start from like the top left to the right and then slide it underneath the connections. And then you want to connect everything and then screw it down so you make sure everything reaches their proper connection.
We got most of the uh, connections connected. Let's grab our T5 screwdriver and screw down the black screws holding down the board. And I'm going to speed up the video here, but you just make sure all the connections can reach. All right, let's get to getting the screen off. We gotta get the T5 screwdriver to unscrew uh, these silver screws on the Wi-Fi antenna, the black screws that are on the display board, and then um, just keep them organized, and then we'll um, take off the screen, and you'll need a T8 screwdriver for that. But taking off the Wi-Fi antenna, you pry right underneath here, and here on the, uh, on the silver side of the Wi-Fi connection, then lift it up, straight up, so then uh, you can pull it out from the board. Grab your T8 screwdriver and unscrew two screws loose in the one in the middle. And I'll show you why we do that here in a second. Open the screen and grab your T8 screwdriver and gr grab the two last screws that are on the uh, screen. And then pull it off just like that. And then you'll want to lay it flat, just upside down like this. And then kind of wiggle the, connection, uh, the hinges in first. And then we're going to just screw down two T8 screws, and then we will test it to make sure it's the fix before we put it all the way back together. Alright, so I'm just connecting the display connection here, and then the battery. Then you got to flip it over, open it up, and plug it in so then it turns on. And then we'll test to see if the keyboard works. Alright, so the keyboard is not working still after this replacement. I had a spare logic board on hand, so I put the logic board in and found out it was not the part, it was the logic board. So then I had to fully take it apart again and put it all back in its old housing and then put a new logic board in it and boom, it worked. So it was all logic board all along, but uh, this is the repair you have to take to figure out if that was the logic board.